Rise and Grind, how cigars keep me positive and winning. Let's have this conversation. And so you can see by my attire, play some golf today. I got my golf gear on. I just got off the course, had a pretty good round, shot a 76. And so if you're a golfer, then you would know that, that that's a pretty good day at the office. And so I had a great round of golf and during that round, certain revelations or wisdoms came to me. And as soon as I got home, I said, let me, let me go and shoot a video and share with my friends what it is I learned. And I'll just dive right into it. And so while I was playing golf, like I said, I, I shot, a, shot a 76. So I had a really good day, a couple birdies, lots of pars, a pretty good round. And a guy came up to me, we were playing together, great guy that I met today. And he said, he said, you know what? He said, I noticed something about you. He said, he said, you seem to be a pretty good golfer, but, but above that, he said, sometimes you, you might hit a bad shot, but you never seem frustrated. You don't get mad, you don't get upset. You hit a bad shot, and then you seem to just breathe, smile, and then your next shot ends up being a great shot and you're back on the grain and then you're putting for birdie. He says, I've been noticing that about you. He said this at, uh, at hole 16. He said, all day long, we've been playing for about four hours and I noticed this about you. He said, what is it? And I said to him, I said, and what I said to him, because truth of the matter is, is that the answer to what he was asking was really in the question. He wanted to know how is it that even after I hit a bad shot, that I stay calm, I stay positive, and then I tend to hit great shots right after that. And so that was the question that he asked. And I just smiled and looked at him and I said, that's why. Even after a bad shot, I don't beat myself up about it. I don't get mad. I don't throw my clubs. I don't break my clubs. I don't start cursing. I realize. I had a bad shot. Stay calm, breathe, smile, stay positive. I know I'm a pretty good golfer and besides, I'm playing golf. I'm having a good time. I knew that on this day I would play golf in the morning and then I would smoke a cigar later that night. And so there's really nothing to be upset about. I'm playing a round of golf. And that's really what I wanted to, to talk about tonight. Just why is it? Why is it that I can stay positive? Why is it that I can just breathe and smile? And if you're a cigar smoker, I think you already know the answer to this question. And really the answer to this philosophy and this, the answer to, to this just way of living. And so we saw it personified on the golf course. But I think it transfers over into so much more of our lives. And so I'm playing golf. It's a Friday. Weather is perfect. I'm in Southern California. It's a beautiful 72 degree day. Now sure, I might be able to complain and say, it was windy. I might complain and say, I missed a few shots. So yes, if I shot a 76, that means that, that means about, that means I swung the club over 70 times, 76 times. I can guarantee you, not every swing, not every putt was good. Lots of them I messed up, went short, went left, went right. But in life, it's about knowing that yes, things are going to go wrong. Sometimes you're gonna mess up. But if you're that guy who you get so angry, you start cursing, and now you wanna throw your clubs and break your clubs, who are you angry with? And so you're here, you're playing a round of golf. Sometimes you're gonna make a mistake. 
but life's about how you respond to the mistake. Life's about what are you gonna do after the mistake? Yes, sometimes things are gonna go right. What do you do next? And so whenever, let's say if I had a tee shot, let's say if I just, you know, pushed it left, pushed it right, now I know my next shot has to correct it. And so getting mad and wasting all this energy, upset and cursing and being negative isn't gonna help the next shot. And so what you've gotta do then as an athlete, as a man, as a woman, as a business owner, as a father, mother, you've gotta lock in. You gotta say yes. Last shot didn't go good. Yesterday was tough. Last year was rough. But I've gotta lock in because this next shot has gotta work. Because I gotta correct. I gotta make up for the last shot. And so that's why I rise and grind. I gotta make up for lost time. I gotta make up for mistakes from 10 years ago. And being upset and negative isn't going to help. And so just like in golf, after that bad shot, you find yourself in the rough. Now it's time to make the adjustment. Now it's time to get back in the fairway. Now it's time to come up with that, that miraculous shot to get yourself back on the green. Now it's time to be positive and to make up for the mistake that you made. And so after every bad shot, I would just lock in. I would breathe, I would relax, I would smile. The reason why you always see me smiling, some of you people who know me in real life, they say, wow, you are always so positive, always so upbeat. Why is it? Why, why, why don't we ever see you frustrated, angry? I believe in just correcting. I believe in always pressing forward as a Marine. I'm always thinking about the mission, what's next. It ain't about having emotions. If, if you're over the age of 35, it's time to let them emotions go. It's time to press forward. You got people depending on you. I got, I got generations depending on me. I've got people who, who, if I don't figure it out, if I don't correct the things that need to be corrected, they struggle. And so it's beyond me. I got about two, three generations beyond me who need me to lock in. And so what does this have to do with cigars? It's got everything to do with cigars. When I'm on the golf course or in life, something goes wrong, gotta lock in, breathe, smile, be positive, focus on what's next. You've got to breathe, smile, and yes, cigars allow me that moment. After a rough day, it's a, a chance to just breathe, smile, and just focus on what's next. Every day I wake up, I've got a job that I can go to. Every day that I wake up, I'm grateful for that. I'm happy about that. And so life's about just, just staying positive. And, uh, and it's about not just, 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 it's not about stewing in the depression and stewing in the, the anxiety and stewing in what could be. Just like any other American, I could, I could go to work tomorrow and, and find out that my company is shut down or, or I've been laid off. And it's a fear, it's an anxiety. But what, what good are you if, if, if you're just living in that negativity? And so every day, rise, grind, work, produce, get it done. And so that's my mindset. And so the same thing about on the golf course, something goes wrong. Yeah, you hit a bad shot. Yeah, you miss a putt. Okay, <laughs> figure it out. Get up to the next tee box. And so cigars allow me that moment of just, just saying, hey, yeah, today was rough, but figure it out, rise, grind, keep pressing forward, make that next shot count. And so as I was playing golf today, I'm playing with, um, there was these two, two guys, two older, older gentlemen, and this uh, guy younger than me, about 38. And as we were wrapping it up, probably around hole 15 or so, one of the older gentlemen came up to me 
and and again i think this is this is just this is my life people people just share with me who they are and their their journey and their experience i believe there's a positivity that comes out of my aura people pick up on it they see that wow this guy is 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 pretty even keel he always smiling always positive so probably after playing golf with me for about three hours this this man who was a stranger earlier in the day he came up to me he just started sharing he said hey he says i used to be so fit i used to be so athletic i played football in high school he says but then as a adult i developed cancer he said i had both lung cancer and colon cancer and he says he says i survived both of them and he he, he told me just what he's lost in the process i believe he lost a lung and he lost uh, his colon and, uh, and he just shared with me and he says but you know what but i'm out here on the golf course playing golf and he says and i think he was maybe explaining why he maybe wasn't playing that great or i don't know why he felt like sharing that but i i listened to it and i received it and and it was a moment that just reminded me that that wow here's this guy out here he's been through all of this and he also made it a point to tell me he says he says and i've never smoked he says i never smoked a day in my life and i had lung cancer and colon cancer and i can tell just by by him telling me that it was his outlook on life he wasn't angry and upset and he realized that hey this is the hand i've been dealt and he he says but here i am playing golf and he, he was he had a business that he he had sold at that point and and so life he didn't allow it to stop him from living life so he'd been through the worst life threw everything at him and he just he told me this story god honest truth he's told me this about i heard a man tell me this about a couple hours ago and so after hearing that as i was making my way home today i said let me let me let me talk to my friends and let me let them know that yeah life is sometimes going to throw some things at you there's people out here dealing with dealing with with unemployment dealing with cancer there's people who are homeless there's people dealing with all kinds of stuff and so to the brother who asked me the question he said hey how come you always so positive how come with all this rise and grind stuff how come you always smiling how come what's your deal where's all this energy coming from <sighs> I don't see how you could not be positive. Every day you wake up, that's another that's a, another opportunity. So even if you hit a bad shot, you had a bad day, having a bad year, you woke up. And so that's one of the reasons why I am so positive and upbeat. In this video, I said, let me chill. Let me not shout, let me, let me take it easy but you'll always see me smiling you'll always see me positive and and so that's my that's what the channel is here for to share with us and what's the result of all this positivity and all this 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 optimism i had a great round of golf and and that also translates into life and so anything i do I do it positively, I do it with energy, I do it thinking good thoughts, and it works out. It works out. We see this time and time again. When you are positive, it works out. So if you got some negative energy in you, you got a little hate in you, you might be the reason that things aren't going good for you. So let go of that. Be more positive. That might lead to you hitting some better shots. Maybe the problem is you. And so I just wanted to just do this video really quick. Again, just, just taking, taking a day, 
lessons learned on the golf course. And as I'm sitting here, just in my own moment of meditation and reflection, these, these are the kind of thoughts that come to me. And so this is why I enjoy smoking cigars, because these are kind of things that I think about and, uh, and this is what I dwell on and meditate on. I think about that guy uh, with colon cancer, lung cancer. He was out there, he hit some good shots, but he was out there still swinging. And so that can encourage you, hopefully it does. And so as you learn at this point, videos don't really have nothing to do with whiskey or cigars. It's about how can I impact someone's life. And so that's what this channel is for. That's what this journey is about. It's just about me turning the camera on, doing what I'd be doing anyway. And I said, let me talk to my friends and let them know what happened to me today. And so that's the point of the video. That's the point of the channel. If you want to join such a community, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know. Let's have this conversation. Let's talk about this, this idea of being positive. Let's talk about this. Like, comment, subscribe. But most importantly, rise and grind.